So hi everyone, welcome to our welcome to Charity Digital Focus Group. Um, I'm James, the head of marketing here at Charity Digital, and I'll be your host for today's session. So in this focus group, we'll give your organization a summary of the benefits of joining Charity Digital, from saving 90% off on the Charity Digital uh, up to 90% off on the Charity Digital Exchange to taking advantage of our educational webinars, podcasts, and articles. I'd like to introduce my colleagues. So I'll first pass over, pass over to Joel. Thank you, James. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Joel, the Customer Service Manager, um, Customer Success Manager at Charity Digital. We need to update that slide. <laughs> I've been here for um, yeah a good few years now, seven years. So I pretty much have good uh, knowledge about lots of various things. And I'm sure like everyone does here in the charity sector, in the charity that they work for that um, your job role includes a lot of things that perhaps you might not have signed up originally like we all do uh, so yeah i'm looking forward to uh, joining uh, sort of helping out all today and introducing a bit more about ourselves if you don't know me over to you liz thank you thank you joel um yep my name is elizabeth carter and i am the emails marketing manager here i've been working at charity digital for a very 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 long time and i've been in the charity sector for over 20 years and yep, I'm looking forward to sharing a little bit about um, the product that we got with you um, a bit later on. Great, thank you both. So before we begin, I just want to remind you that this webinar will be recorded. So the recording with captions, slides and supporting resources will be made available to you over the coming days. So keep an eye on your inbox for that. If you have a question that you'd like to be answered, please pop it in the chat box. We will then come on to those at the end of the session. Once the session ends, you will be prompted for feedback. We'd love to hear your thoughts on how we can continue to help your organisation. So please take a few minutes to share your thoughts. Without further ado, I'll get started on today's tour of Charity Digital. So to start off, I thought it would make sense to run through who we are and what we do. So who are we? We are a charity ourselves who help other charities increase their impact by being more digital. So we have two primary charitable activities. So we provide access to the software that charities need at dramatically reduced prices. And we publish content, so articles, podcasts, videos, we, and run webinars, events, webinars and events that educate charity professionals and volunteers on how to make better use of digital tools and technologies. And to the right, you can see a picture of all of us at one of our recent events. So today we've helped over 1 million charity professionals learn about digital transformation and improve their digital skills through our content website, events and training programs. We've enabled over 77,000 charities to save in excess of 284 million on technology investments. So that's an approximate saving of almost 3,700 pounds per charity. Thank you, on to the next slide, please, John. And just a final slide from me. So just compiled a few lovely reviews that charities have left on our Trustpilot page. Um, it's just really lovely to see the impact that our services can have on the charity sector. So I won't spend too long on this slide, but we will paste the Trustpilot link in the chat if anyone would like to continue reading. And on to our content. So at Charity Digital, we aim to be a source of useful, relevant and trusted information on the use of digital in the UK charity sector. Our mission is to help every charity grow their impact through digital technology. As such, our content has four aims, to inspire, inform, empower, and to connect charities with experts, partners, and resources to help them go further. Our, co our content currently comes in many formats, webinars, articles, podcasts, videos, and events. So on to the next slide, please, Joel, where we will cover our podcasts. So let's start with our podcast. These tend to be a conversational exploration of different topics affecting the charity sector. Many of our episodes feature Charity Digital's very own employees. We research the topic heavily and try to answer the talking points around it. We've done episodes on the cost of living, climate change, and much more. We often have external speakers join our podcast too, featuring experts from across the charity sector. We recently released an episode talking to charities about digital inclusion and how we can support it. You can listen on our website, on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, and more. Next slide, please. So on to our webinars. We also regularly run these webinars, usually at one o'clock on a Thursday afternoon, unless otherwise stated. Each webinar lasts an hour, including 
time for attendees to ask questions at the end. The aim of our webinars is to share expertise so that each attendee comes away with valuable knowledge, whether that's on digital trends or how to create a great supporter journey. You can view upcoming webinars on the events tab on our website. We have one coming up next week on financial planning, um, so digital finance management. And you can also view our on-demand webinars there too. We have the full recordings of the sessions and resources so you can catch up and learn something new at your convenience. Next slide, please. Articles. So we publish fresh written content on our website every weekday on everything from social media trends to a complete guide to live stream fundraising. We have lots of how to's, including running fundraising lotteries, marketing fundraising events and testing donor journeys, all intended to help charities center digital in their decision making and to make the most of technology. We also work with sponsors and tech partners to deliver content on the latest digital solutions and tools available, whether it's looking into a specific donation platform or identifying cybersecurity essentials. Many of the products featured are available, available to purchase on the Charity Digital Exchange, which Joel will talk about later on, so you can understand how they work in action. When you register with us, you can access all of our content unlimited. We also have videos which tie in with our articles, including Charity Digital Snapshot series, which sums up the key points you need to know about specific subjects such as artificial intelligence and the climate crisis, and you can find these on our YouTube channel. You can also comment on our articles if you find them helpful or ask questions if there's anything that you'd like us to elaborate on. We monitor these comments and, can, and it can also inform our content and what we publish next. We want to help charities with the digital issues they face as well as talk about trends in the sector more widely. And next job. So in 2023, we launched our Climate Action Hub in order to empower charities to take the lead in becoming more environmentally friendly. Following the success of this campaign, which is still ongoing, we have launched a new campaign for 2024 aimed at supporting digital inclusion in the charity sector. Digital is essential for many people to have their basic needs met, connect with others and achieve their goals. But an estimated one in seven people in the UK cannot interact with the online world fully when, where and how they need. Our Digital Inclusion Hub is here to help charities reach across the digital divide. We have lots of content, all of which is free, highlighting digital inclusion resources, exploring how to make technology accessible and featuring interviews with charities who are ta tackling digital exclusion themselves. And next slide, please. On to our events. So we run lots of events, such as our upcoming AI Summit and Digital Fundraising Day. These are a mix of in-person and online events aimed at providing charities with case studies, practical advice, and expert guidance around specific topics affecting the charity sector. You can sign up for both of these events on our website. The AI Summit is taking place on the 17th of October in person, and Digital Fundraising Summit is online on November the 7th. We also host online workshops with our technology partners. These workshops are our most interactive events with breakout rooms and room for discussion on topics as varied as financial literacy and running a cybersecurity exercise with your team. We've also recently launched Charity Digital Academy, which are three hour long courses aimed at enhancing both soft and hard skills, boosting your knowledge of finance and artificial intelligence and supercharging your digital capabilities. Most of the time, these events are free to attend with the exception of our academy series and the in-person workshops and all have content you can take away with you afterwards. You can keep up to date with what's coming by checking back on the events page on our website. And on to my final slide. Thank you, Joel, for staying up to date. The easiest way to stay up to date with all our content is to register and sign up for our newsletters. You can do this when you register or at any time afterwards by going on your account on our website. You can also follow us on LinkedIn and sign up there for our monthly Charity Digital Digest to never miss a thing. I will now, pa now pass on to Joel, who will take you through the Charity Digital Exchange. Thank you very much, James. Hi, everyone. So yeah, Charity Digital Exchange has been providing UK charities uh, with access uh, to donated and discounted offers validation services and access to training for over 16 years. So many of you would have already seen the Charity Digital Exchange page at some point 
perhaps when you've been getting for one of our validation in the uh, validation partners in the past, perhaps you might have used us for Google for nonprofits um, historically, you might have come across us then, perhaps in one of our old iterations as well when we were under one of our former names. So yeah, I just want to briefly point out um, a couple of sections there um, of our exchange website and just some more clarity for you. So this is the what the uh, home the exchange homepage would look like. So just pointing out a few of the options. Um, so yeah, along the top of the page, you'll see an option called catalog. So this is where you can view our donated and discounted offers, uh, which we'll come back to in a few moments. Under the donors uh, drop down, um, so what that means is charitable status alone does not guarantee eligibility uh, to access our partner offers. Each of our partners have their own eligibility criteria, which could be based on your specific charitable activities, um, your organization's income, or perhaps the quantity of uh, products that you're looking to request. Now, the donors drop down is a really useful way of checking which one of our partners, uh, what their individual uh, eligibility criteria is, um, as well as other information about the donor and the products themselves. Under the Grow Your Skills drop down uh, option, you can see there, you can click on this tab to check out some of our upcoming events, which James went through a moment ago um, as well. And uh, you can also view our past events, such as our ever popular digital fundraising summit, uh, which is also touched on as well. You can, you can also look at various courses provided as well, not only provided by us, but uh, by our partners at TechSoup as well. You can find out a huge range of courses, such as using Microsoft software to fundraising and marketing strategies as well. And the courses start uh, from as low as 10 euros. Uh, so do ensure to take advantage uh, to educate yourself and your team. And, uh, finally, the help section, usually self-explanatory, but it's uh, particularly useful for looking for help from our validation partners, as well as providing uh, useful information, uh, perhaps on an order that you place, perhaps like something around delivery delivery times, when to expect your order, that kind of thing. So at the start of this year, uh, sorry, start of uh, last year, should I say, uh, we successfully launched uh, Live Chat. Uh, this tool uh, has been absolutely revolutionary uh, for Charity Digital, allowing us to assist more of our users at a quicker pace. Uh, we can assist you with questions that you have about um, software, cybersecurity, discount solutions available to you and uh, free resources available uh, to your organization as well. If live chat isn't for you, uh, you can still contact us via our email, of course, or give us a call or even arrange a 15 minute consultation with me if you want a closer review of the products uh, that we provide. Um, yep, some, yep, so you can still use some of the old, uh, you know, the classic ways of connection as well, but usually the live chat uh, option is the quickest way to get in touch with us about something if you, if you, if you perhaps urgency is, uh, is on the brain there. We also provide IT services to small charities, so we can help them get set up in the cloud with either Microsoft 365 or Google Workspace. We can migrate your data over to the cloud and also manage your cloud services, such as managing your users, your access to important files and their security as well. We also provide basic website management and um, also we can create training sessions for, your, for you and your team members. Uh, we like to think it's very adaptable service to fit your needs and our pricing, uh, we like to again think is fair uh, to accommodate the financial challenges that small charities face. So I briefly mentioned earlier the uh, product catalogue section. Um, so clicking on that button, which you saw earlier, will take you to a page looking like this. And from here, you can do filtered searches of our products by searching by donor partner or the type of software that you're after. We work with a wide range of organizations, uh, some globally renowned, you know, just like Adobe, Microsoft, Avast for security, Zoom as well, and many, many, many more, just a light touch there. We can also provide discounts on hardware offers from Dell, uh, MetaQuest as well, which has been very popular this year, and also Cisco uh, hardware as well. Uh, there's some huge savings to be made. Now, you see on this particular side, um, you'll see offers from partners such as Microsoft, Adobe, Avast as well, and many more. And on this slide in particular, you'll see one of our popular products listed here, uh, which is called Charity Digital, uh, Digital App Digital. I'll now pass on to Elizabeth uh, to go through more about this there for you. Thank you very much, Joel, and um, hi again to everyone that's on board. Yeah, we partnered with Dot Digital going back to oh, 20 years ago now. And uh, what we actually offer is a light version that's more geared towards your small and medium-sized charities. 
And I will explain uh, in a little bit more detail, not much in depth, but just a little bit more um, what you can get with that light package. And also, if you're interested in all the whistles and bells that Dot Digital offer with their full package, then please come to me again and I can walk you through um, what they have available for you. And I can get you in contact with Dot Digital as well. Next slide, please, John. So basically what we offer, and I'm sure that most of you on board here are using an email marketing platform. And so it's pretty similar to what you will be using, um, but we have with our dot digital package, you can have automated programs. So you can take people through loads of journeys. They can be as simple, as complicated as you wish. You can set up all of your segmentation with different rules based on behavior, based on data fields or on lists. Um, you can also set up personalization, and that can be in the subject title or in the content. Uh, we've got dynamic content as well, a feature that you can send a campaign to different audiences. Um, we have a reporting suite um, that is really good, and you can have a look at all the metrics there. So you're not limited, I know with some platforms, depending on the level that you've got, you're not limited to certain metrics. We do actually provide all the metrics that you need to look at the uh, analyzing of your campaigns and how they're doing. And the split testing as well. So you can split test um, subject lines, your content, your friendly from, and your from address as well. And lots of other features that aren't mentioned here. Joel, next slide, please. So Dot Digital is an open source platform. And what does that mean? Um, basically, at your end, you can set up any API integration um, that you want to. Um, obviously, um, you need a little bit of know-how how to do that, or you can contact an IT agency. But if you're looking at setting up Donify or Beacon or any, um, any other platforms like that, then Many of these do actually have a dot digital um, integration that you can just ask Beacon to switch on at their end. Um, or you have the opportunity to go to dot, dot digital directly. And they have this absolutely amazing Salesforce plugin as well. That's all customized and all tailored. And they've got Microsoft Dynamics. So if you wanted to know more about integrations, then please get in touch with me. Next slide, please. What do we offer with our lighter dot digital product is that you've got great support and that will be via email or via telephone and you can just jump on a chat and we can go through a training webinar. We've got different support packages as well and we know that charities obviously we're a charity ourselves. We know that charities are really looking for that extra hand holding a lot of the time and um, we do provide that for you. And if your budget is tight, we also have a, a free support package and we will give you training and onboarding for that. And the next slide, please, Joel. So, yes, if you would like a demo or if you would like a, a walkthrough of the features, then get in contact with me. It will be about 20 minutes that I'll just show you the main features and I can give you a demo through that a trial account of 30, 60 or 90 days. So you can trial out the platform as well. And that's it from me. It is lovely. Thank you very much. Sorry, I was just noting down our first question. So we have had some that have come in um, that were pre-submitted via our inbox. Um, but this one is relevant to what you were just talking about, Liz. Um, and then I'll move on to the pre-submitted ones. But if anyone has any other questions, please feel free to put them in the chat box and we'll work our way through. So the first one is, would I be right in thinking that Dot Digital could be an alternative to MailChimp? Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's a really good alternative to MailChimp. As you know, MailChimp is the massive international um, go-to that, that most charities sort of maybe start off with because you can go for the free freebie, which isn't as generous as it used to be, maybe going back about seven months. Um, but yes, it is. And if you actually, James, what we'll do is we'll just attach the comparison between Dot Digital and MailChimp because we've got a nice PDF on that yes. uh, when we send yeah. the slides out. Um, so, yes, if you'd like to know more about pricing and then please um, email me and I will come back to you with some quotes. 
Lovely. In the background, I will find that comparison. I'll put it in the chat and then we'll send it around, um, send the PDF, PDF in the email as well afterwards. So thank you for that question, Joe. Um, we do have the ones that have come in through the inbox, so I will start asking those. But if anyone has any, any questions on anything, please put it in the chat and we'll get to them. Um, so this is a good question. Um, this was one that was submitted. I'm part of a community interest company, so CIC, what can I access? Yeah, I'll answer that. So in terms of what you can access, um, what James spoke about earlier in terms of our content side of things as well, you can access all either the free information for that that you want, or you can attend our, um, our, our like a, you know, purchase our academy sessions as well, or, or attend of any, any of our other in-person events. So you can access those. Uh, with regards to offers such as software and hardware, uh, so the majority of our partners will only provide uh, non-profit or charitable discounts um, to organisations in the UK that hold charitable status. And um, it's been a long time confusement. Obviously, there's many organisations that are out there, global organisations that will provide, uh, we'll talk about providing discounts to nonprofits and without, and it's kind of more providers as like global branding. And this often confuses organisations in the UK because what these organisations really mean is that they, they will provide charitable discounts. So for example, Microsoft have a, a scheme called Microsoft 365 for nonprofits. Um, nonprofits is like, you know, a more frequent term used in other areas of the world, whilst in the UK, we like to make things difficult um, but, or, or different in one way by having both charities and nonprofits. So the majority of our products are for organizations with charitable status. However, we do have a page um, of partners who are definitely want to um, work a lot, like provide their discounts to UK nonprofit organizations, like for example, with our security is one of them. Obviously, um, obviously our email marketing that uh, Liz spoke to is available to CICs and other UK nonprofits and a few others um, as well. So that's, there, there, there is offers out there. In terms of our support, like we, we definitely see the impact of nonprofit organizations in the UK. There's so many and uh, the impact that they have is fantastic. And we do try and speak about that to our um, our partners who provide software or hardware solutions but one reason is that there are at the very top they decide that a lot of them decide that they just wish to provide to charities but slowly but surely there have been some who've seen the light who've moved over for example you know a vast you know you know they, they see the, the value as well we do we do hope to move more in the future but we are sort of restricted by the fact that these organizations it's they don't have to provide any type of discount at all so it's it's really up to them whether they want to provide their discounts to um, cics or not but um hopefully more will come on board on the uh, on our catalog very soon great thank you very comprehensive answer there joel thank you um next pre-submitted one was we missed the opportunity to go on the artificial intelligence academy session will you be running these again um, I'm happy to take that one. Um, yeah, we've just put um, the next lot live. So there are four live at the moment, I think. Um, so there's Master the Fundamentals of Microsoft 365 Administration. So um, yeah, very admin heavy one there. Practical uses of AI for your charity, how to manage charity finances, Oh, so three of those are live and we've got another one coming very soon. So I'll post that in the chat um, for whoever submitted that. Um, but yeah, um, please feel free to keep asking the questions. Um, we did have another one. What CRM um, is available for my charity to use? Quite a broad um question there. Yeah, it's always a question that we get about CRM. So there, there is one option available via ourselves uh, for charities, which is called Donor Perfect. So we provide, we don't provide the CRM itself, the discount code. Uh, it's more of a fundraising um, CRM in, in terms of that. So there's an offer on it on our catalog. What I would say, generally say about CRMs is that a lot of the organizations out there who are CRM providers, a lot of them um, will tend to have their own offers directly with them. Uh, rather than outsourcing their offers. Uh, so you, if there are CRM providers that you're looking at out there, uh, you might want to contact them directly to see if they have a non-profit rate. Uh, many of them don't as well. Um, you might, when it comes to the funds of charities, 
what we tend to find is a CRM is quite specific to a charity itself, we find. Um, so in terms of discounts available, and the pattern is it tends to be the generic type of offers where you can really make savings. So for example, you can make savings on your Microsoft licensing, um, Adobe licensing. But when it comes to those specific needs of your charity, that's when it comes a little bit harder to get the discounts. I'm not saying that they aren't out there, but there are. But that's where if you're looking at budget balancing, you could probably, you know, a lot of you, um, you can make a lot of the savings on, like I said, generic, more generic software or like, like Microsoft, and then perhaps use the, those funds elsewhere on something where a discount isn't available and is more specific to your charity, like a CRM. Great. Thank you, Joel. And we've got one final pre-submitted one. So if there are any other questions, um, please do post them and we'll do our best to answer them. So this one was, what software can we access for free? Um, so I'm happy to take this one as well. We have done a webinar, um, which was what software is available for free for charities. So I will find that link and send that. Um, our most popular one by far is Adobe Express, which is a design tool. Um, it's quite similar to Canva, um, if anyone's used that before. Um, which, so you can use it to design amazing creatives for your website and social media. Um, and you can also use social media scheduling so you can tell it to post to your LinkedIn at 4 p.m. on Friday and that it will set that up. Um, so I'll send that link through. Um, and we do have a free resource hub um, so I'll find the link for that as well and put that in the chat and send it around afterwards. Um, so it's some free software and then just free discount codes that charities can access. So there's discounts on Dell hardware, um, free access to Fiverr, which is a database for professionals um, and plenty of other things. So we will post that. Are there any other questions? Um, anyone would like to raise it doesn't have to be about what's been covered today it can be about what's going on in your organization any trials or tribulations you're having hey short and sweet um, today yeah short and sweet today before we yep. conclude um i am just going to paste the link um We'll send around all the resources afterwards, everything that has been discussed. Um, so yeah, just let us know if there's anything that you'd like us to send around. And I have just put the feedback form. It should only take about two minutes um, just to let us know how you found the session today and what we can do to improve these sessions. Um, if anyone wants to join us on the 17th of October in person um, at resource for London. Um, we will be do, hosting our artificial intelligence summit. Um, so it's yeah, a ticketed in-person event that will help charity professionals master the most talked about tech of the decade. Um, and I will also post the link to that now. Um, but apart from that, Thank you so much for joining us. Um, please do get in touch if there's anything that your charity needs. Um, have a look at our website, look at our content and feel free to sign up to our upcoming webinars or watch any on demand. Um, but yeah, some lovely person like Joel will always be there on live chat if you want to, um, if you want any advice. Oh, Michelle, is there anything that can help with accessibility on our website? There are a few different things. Um, I'll look at what we've got set up. So we've got, I think it's called Recite Me. Um, so that's one of our partners. So if you go on our website, you can click accessibility um, and then you can see um, it can change the colors of your website um, so that it can be helpful for colorblind, colorblind people. Um, let me just go through the options. It can decrease font size. It can read out what's on the screen. Um, it can make Versa your size. cursor bigger. Um, so there's it's a really useful tool that you can embed on your website. Um, I will find the listing now. Image. Um, but it, if you hover over something, it'll read out what's on the screen. So it kind of just is like universal accessibility. Um, so I will find their website. We'll also include that in the resources, um, but that's a really useful accessibility tool. 
So I'll just read out the blurb. Recite Me is dedicated to helping charities create inclusive online experiences through a suite of on-demand accessibility tools. So Michelle, here you go. I think we've we have recently done a webinar with Recite Me as well. Sorry, I'm just gonna have a quick look. If not, I will send it around afterwards. How to make social content accessible. That was from March last year. I actually did um, training last week and I on email marketing and I homed on this for accessibility with your emails. So if anybody wants any direction on that, um, just let me know. Yeah, perfect. Um, so we have a question from Andy. So we repurposed digital devices and computer equipment to enable access, enable accessible digital inclusion for everyone. Our focus is education and healthcare. Do you work with organizations in the Northeast and North Cumbria who have large IT estates? Um, I would say email to, who is the best person to email? Maybe email to customer services at charitydigital.org.uk. Um, we can then, um, have a discussion around that um, but I'm sure there's plenty of people who would love to benefit from the services that you offer um, so yeah if you just email customer services at charitydigital.org.uk um, we can then see what can be done that yeah, sounds like just, you do really important work Andy yeah just cut out the yes it's just customer service at charitydigital.org.uk no worries just uh, we've had that before yeah <laughs> so yeah if you email that we can uh, link you with someone help me out with that Perfect. Um, before we formally close, are there any other questions, anything that you need hand with? Even if we can't answer it up right now, we'll research, we'll look at our content um, and we will send it around in the resources afterwards. Cool. Yeah, sounds like a really good organisation, Andy. We'll, um, we'll definitely have a chat about that. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you everyone for attending. Um, we run these quite regularly. So if anyone you know, you think would benefit from Charity Digital, um, please do send them over. We're more than happy to help any organization. Um, and thank you everyone for joining us today. Please do share your opinion. It should only take about two minutes. Thank, thank you for joining us, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.